My, uh, my next guest comes, uh, directly. We're a little out of order tonight because he's taping his special and he has to come over here and then he has to leave. All I can say about Don Rickles is that I've always felt that it was a shame that Martin Borman didn't live to see his firstborn. <laughs> Would you welcome, please, Mr. Don Rickles? I'm here for the rodeo. <laughs> Forgive me for my dress, uh, John, but uh, <laughs> I'm working and I, I had no idea there was going to be a wedding tonight or something. And I'm working over at the other network and yes. I, I couldn't get dressed up for this cockamamie affair. Here. <laughs> but it's, it's, a great, it's a great night. Uh, the president, Don Durgin, is, is that Don his name? Durgan. Don, Don Durgan. Don Durgan, who cares? Uh, <laughs> He was in the back in the hall, walking around going, I'm the president. He told that to Re Regan, who stepped on his hand and left. <laughs> Governor Regan was thrilled. Yeah, he's very excited to see yeah. you. Why am I talking to you? I don't even like you, Joey. Why not? <laughs> anyway, now I kid about Joey. I know him a yeah. lot of years. Uh, I can't wait. But, uh, what the whole thing is, for God's sake, let me talk. Oh. Well, listen, wait a minute. Who as long as you're imitating me, his name is not Regan. Reagan. It's Governor Reagan, and once he explained that to me while I was introducing him. It was practically an insult. I call him Reagan, and he says, Jack, the next time you introduce me, it's Ronald Reagan. So I said to him, the next time you introduce me, it's Benny Kabelski. <laughs> That's my right name. <laughs> I didn't know that. I, I hope I didn't spoil anything. No, Jack, I was rolling along here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> My mother would say, is Jack Benny, keep your mouth shut. Yeah, for God's sake. George, your dear friend is in the back walking around trying to find out what the affair is about. Ah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, Johnny, it's, yes, it's great to see that how you, on your anniversary, you sit in a big chair and we all sit here like a group of people in a wheat field, <laughs> sitting there like King Farouk ran out of grapes. <laughs> the humility in the class, now that you mix with Freddie, your producer, I didn't recognize Freddie Dick over Freddie, over here where the light is. Uh, <laughs> he just sits in the stool going, I'm in charge. Uh, but, it's a, it's, a, it's a great treat, really, is, to, to be able to be with you 10 years. You know, I, I remember when you started with that, you were talking about it at CBS the other day when you worked in that studio. What was the show you had then? I did a show in the same studio you're in now. Yeah. And what was the name of the show, John? Try to stay awake for this. Halsey. You can hardly wait to get back to Bel Air and go, I'm wealthy. Ah, uh, it's called the Johnny Carson Show. It's called the Johnny Carson Show. Well, wonderful, John. You're kind of dull, so I'll talk to Ed. Ed, maybe you can put the rubber band on your ear and play Marine Corps pilot for a half hour. <laughs> you don't have to know, Jack. It's making a lot of money for him. <laughs> Isn't this great? I know what he's talking about. <laughs> Jack Benny came up in the dressing room in, in the Sahara Hotel in Las Vegas, and that's the truth when I was appearing there. And you were very sweet and kind. In fact, we had dinner together. I, together, I had... Uh, my wife and I had steak, and you had, I believe, one boiled egg. And uh, he does. He watches his diet, and he came up and he said, You know something? You see, I watched you on the stage for years in the lounge in the Sahara. True, Jack, what I'm saying? And he said, You know, you came on with some of the words and the things, you see. And I said to Mary, I said, The kid's got to get killed. <laughs> because anybody, you see, that can come on that strong has got to be crazy. Now well, today... Now can we hear Humphrey Bogart? No. Oh, I'll do it. <laughs> now you see why I pinch it for him? That was good, Johnny. It's good to see you get that poison out. <laughs> Even on your anniversary, you always got to snap at the little Jew, huh? <laughs> With the trouble in the world, oh. I'm really just neutral. <laughs> Before this evening is over, there'll be more Jews out here than anybody else. <laughs> I assure you. <laughs>
And by the applause, Jack, warm up the car. We're in trouble. <laughs> But I, I must say, in all fairness to you, John, it, it was Johnny Carson. I know you, you, you get embarrassed about this. Uh, Johnny Carson was the first guy to start me on television in, in nighttime form and uh, uh, bring my ridiculous kind of uh, format to the, to the public. And then Joey on ABC followed it up and, and kept me going pretty good. And I must say, uh, Johnny, and uh, very honestly, because my name was like, oh, here he comes, you know. And you were great. You sat at the desk and you had me on the show many times. And I say this with all sincerity. Uh, we know each other. We don't see each other that often socially. I have begged. Uh, but I don't want to sit up in the room in the nude looking at stars. If he loves astrology and he sits there in the nude going, Oh, Venus is sick. Anyway, uh, but... Uh, what? I don't know, but they're laughing. What do you care? <laughs> Why doesn't... Look at these people. They, came, they were in line all night going, Move up, Al. But I just want to say from the bottom no, of my heart... you should have seen him on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, for ten years, may you have ten more, and may you be blessed, really, for being kind to me and mine and uh, my dear ones. You are Thank a good you. I know you mean that. With all of that. I know you mean that. Thank you. Now, you got to... Don really wasn't kidding about coming like this because you're in the middle of taping your special. Yes, really. I wasn't trying to be uh, cute or anything. This was, this was it. And I dropped over the other day and we did a little thing on the show. And you were delightful and I appreciate it. And I hope it's a big success for you. Well, we try. When it's Armed Forces Radio for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Want to hear a funny line? Thank you, John. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Don. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back.